the reality is the person who caused the need for a retaining wall owns the retaining wall. It's understandable that you might say that the lower side owns that wall, but what you don't know and what happens very often is that the neighbor on the high side has said, you know, if your wall was a little bit higher than what it is, I'll be able to level out my yard. Now we're talking about co-ownership. The question is, what portion of the wall belongs to who? It is common that the low side can own the entire wall. The high side may believe, they may get away with a gentle contour from the retaining wall up to their uh, outdoor area and that might be satisfactory for them. However, when you have two properties where the high side and the low side, their levels seem to make sense, especially on the rather large walls, it is highly likely that that is a co-owned wall. Highly likely that the high side has capitalized on the fact that there's a retaining wall to have their own yard make sense. Nothing illegal about it, nothing bad about it, it's really quite sensible. Somewhat of a common misconception is that a retaining wall, if it's on the boundary, it suffers the same ruling as a fence does, and it does not. A fence is 50-50 no matter what, and there's pretty clear legislation around that. You, uh, you can't get out of not paying for your fence. Um, a retaining wall on the boundary, it is not cut and dry that it is 50-50 co-owned. It is somebody owns that wall, or the two parties own it. They co-own it because the retaining wall is serving both properties. And when that retaining wall was built, it was understood by those two owners that this wall was gonna function in such a way to retain what the low side needed. And when it got erected to a certain point, it would solve a problem for the high side. Where those land levels were at the time that property was built, at, that, at the time that wall was built, that's the question. And that may be knowable, or it may not be. But if you can obtain a record of what the contour of the land was prior to the building of your retaining walls, then you are in with a chance to ascertain who needed how much of it. So this video is not exactly a silver bullet solving these problems for you. But your takeaway is simply this. A person is not required to retain more earth than they have disturbed. Anything beyond that is for aesthetics or more importantly, to serve somebody else.